there are going to be hard days. Everybody knows that. But when you're facing one, when you're facing one today, you need to ask yourself, what do you do next? Because all of us face a time where we have a plan, where, where, we, where we feel called to do the next thing, the next breakthrough, the next step. And you work so hard and you put all of your hopes and all of your dreams and all of your energy into making that next step happen. And then it doesn't happen. It doesn't happen the way that you thought it would. It doesn't happen when you thought thought it should. Uh, you get a no from someone. You lose the deal. You lose the opportunity. You're trying out for the job interview and you find out it was given to someone else. You, you lose the relationship and you're crushed. You're devastated. You feel like you've put all of this time and all of this effort into the wrong thing and you're left with nothing and it's not only is it a terrible feeling not only does it feel lonely and empty you start to question what you're doing and why you're doing it and whether you have you start to question everything but how you respond today right now in the moment when you feel crushed how you respond right now will decide whether in three months or six months or a year from now, you're gonna be the place that you wanna be or you're gonna be stuck right here, right now, where you are today. This happens to everybody, right? If you're doing something really big, if you have plans, if you have dreams, if you're putting yourself out there, you are going to want something. You are going to want that relationship. You're gonna want that, uh, that promotion or that job or you're gonna to wanna to pass that test. If you're in business, you're gonna to wanna to bring on the partner or get the funding or the financing or land that big client. You are going to be working for something and chasing something because you are growing, because you're putting yourself out there, because you're going on to the next level. And when you put yourself out there, when you live this type of life, the type of life where you're striving for more, you know, everybody talks about the rejection and the judgment and everybody talks about it. But what a lot of us don't talk about is that moment where you get punched in the gut, where you have the wind sucked out of you, when you blush with embarrassment because you realize, oh, this thing that I thought was happening, this thing that I thought was a sure thing, this thing that I thought we could do, it's not happening. And you're left asking yourself what now, right? Like you put in all of your plans, all of your energy into this and it's not happening for you. What now? And so you feel terrible. You feel gutted. You feel cheated. You feel like, why did you, you know, you feel foolish, right? Like why did you waste all your time and effort and energy into something that you thought you can do? And the truth is that this moment, how you feel right now, it does not define you. It's not who you are. It's not who you want to be. And it's, and it's really, you know, in the grand scheme of life, it may not even register. You know, you may be at the end of your life thinking back of all of the amazing things you've done. And you may not even remember this moment. And so if you're feeling this way right now, I just want to share a few tips that I've picked up along the way from others that I've had to work through myself because we all have these moments. We all have these moments where we know, oh, we're so close. We can taste it. We can feel it. We can touch it. And then it gets ripped away from us and we're left judging ourselves. We're left questioning. And so I want to share with you these tips to help you get through this moment, but also realize that this is not something that's going to hold you back. This is something that can slingshot you forward. So number one, it's easy to say, and it's really hard to accept, but this does not define you. <laughs> so you wanted that job and they gave it to someone else. It doesn't mean that you're not capable. It doesn't mean that you uh, didn't deserve it. It doesn't mean that you couldn't do it, right? If there's one open spot, I mean, I hire a lot of people and it always comes down to one person, which means that there's hundreds of other people it doesn't come down to. And sometimes, you know, 
people are selected for the strangest of reasons, but it doesn't define you. When you go to bring on the investors or the partners or the client and they say, no, nah, I don't think you're ready or I don't think you're the right person or I don't, you know, I don't think that we're going to move forward with you. You're going to move forward with someone else. It's not a reflection of who you are as a person. It could be for any reason. It could be financial reasons. It could be that, that they've made their own decisions, that someone's brother-in-law was something, something, something political. It could be anything. Most of the time when we face these rejections, we wear them as if they, they are who we are in this moment. This person's opinion of me, this person's assessment of me, this person's rejection of me means that everyone else will feel the same way, that everyone else will reject me, that I'm just not good at this thing. But what we need to come to understand, and this is really hard for perfectionists, it's really hard for people like me who, who wrap up so much of our own self-esteem and, and the judgment of ourselves and how we feel in terms of how other people judge us. It's hard for us, but what we need to accept is that their opinion of us does not define my future. It does not define my path. It doesn't define who I am today. And it certainly doesn't define who I will be in the future. We cannot wear their one moment, their one judgment, their one decision. We can't wear that as if that is who we are because it's not me and it's not you. Number two, is we need to also really come to terms with the fact that no doesn't usually mean no. Like, like very rarely is a no a uh, never. And even when it is the no as in the never, that is one, you're taking a, you're taking a sample pool of one. You know, you're not going out to 10,000 people and 10,000 opportunities and, and finding out how you're doing statistically. You know, you're not a baseball player who's going up to bat and taking swing after swing after swing, you know, at bat after at bat, day after day, year after year, and it's all averaging out. You are taking a sample size of one. You are, you are judging everything on that one opinion. And most of the time, the no doesn't even mean no. Usually the no uh, comes down to a not now, or a not yet, or a yes if, you know, yes, you can if we met this criteria and maybe it'll line up and maybe it won't, but very rarely is the no an all out no. It's usually a no for now, uh, wasn't a good time, wasn't a good fit, uh, the people didn't work, this one opportunity didn't line up, but maybe others similar to that will line up in the future. And so we can't take this no as if it's the closing of a chapter or the closing of a book. This no is like a, a cliffhanger on the hero's journey, right? We love movies where the hero is fighting and scrappy and then they get down and out and then they learn something about themselves and they rebuild and they go on and they claim what is theirs. We love that. The hero has to be down and out to learn something. The hero has to be down and out to earn, you know, the victory and the comeback. And so maybe, just maybe, this no is one part of your down and out. Maybe this no is one part of you learning something about yourself and about them and about the opportunities. So that way you can come back and earn that victory. Number three, we really need to come to terms with the fact that, that there's a lot of chaos out there, right? We think that everybody makes decisions in black and white, crystal clear. No, we're people. It's, it's emotional. It's chaos. As I mentioned, you know, when I hire someone, I hire one person out of hundreds of people. And so someone else's plans, you know, someone else's plans for how they run their business or what they need in their team or who they want to bring on as a partner or buy from or sell to uh, someone else's plans for how they want to be, who they want to be married to or who they're attracted to or, you know, your plans for your career, for your school, whatever plans. Plans change, first of all. And the other thing is someone else's plans do not define your potential. Someone else's plans for what they want to do with their team or their company or their opportunity does not define how much potential you have. It might just not be a right time, a right fit, as I mentioned. You know, we think of people as these linear paths that, that overlap. But really, the way that most things work in life is they overlap for a brief period of time. 
people are moving on separate paths in separate directions. And there's a brief moment of time. And that could be for uh, a few days, a few months, a few years, maybe a decade, maybe more. But for the most part, people are moving on their own paths in their own journeys, making their own decisions for their own reasons. And if you're lucky, you get some crossover. If you're lucky, you can make it work. Sometimes it just doesn't work. But their plans do not define your potential. And number four, everything we face, the good, the bad, the challenges is a moment for us to learn. It's a moment for us to grow and 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 get feedback, frankly. And so what I want to ask. And so what I want to challenge you to do is look at this no as an opportunity for growth. What feedback can you get? No one else is asking for feedback. No one else is stepping up with, you know, maybe a slightly hurt ego, but a good attitude to say, what can I learn from this? What feedback can I take? And then how can you face that feedback? How can you accept it and face it and realize that maybe there's something in you that you can change, that you can tweak, or maybe things just didn't work out. But ask for the feedback, face the feedback with an open mind in, 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 in a mindset of growth, and then finally follow through. You have to follow through with the feedback. You have to show that person who said no why that no was a bad idea, why that no might have been a not yet. And, and now you're ready. Now is the time. You need to face the feedback and then follow through and take the actions that you need to take to make sure that this moment, this opportunity isn't wasted. It's super cliche to say it. But the truth is that, you know, every successful person says that 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 it's not the failures, it's not the loss, it's not the rejection that keeps you down unless you give up in that moment. And so right now, the way that you're feeling right now, today, in this moment, gutted, rejected, terrible. Okay. Sit with it. Be kind to yourself. Don't judge yourself. And when you're ready, how can we get the feedback? How can we come to understand that it's not defining my potential? How can we start to set the plans in place to come back fighting, to come back stronger, to come back ready for what's next? And if you do this right, you will realize in six months or 12 months that you're getting what it is that you feel like you deserve because you've worked for it and it will line up and you'll look back at this moment and go like, oh yeah, that was tough, but I got it in the end. Or, and this happens more often than not, you will actually leapfrog this opportunity. Yeah, this thing that you think you want, this thing that you think defines you, this thing that you're working for, you are going to learn from it and you're going to be open-minded and you're going to find that in the future, you're actually like, a few steps ahead. And this thing that so gutted you was actually small because in every challenge is opportunity. And so if you're willing to do the work of, of forgiving yourself and being kind to yourself, but then realizing that this does not define you, that, that someone else's plans does not reflect your true potential and that you can learn from this moment, roll it into what you're doing and go out there and crush the next thing, you're going to come out ahead or you're going to come off with maybe another rejection, but you've been through this before. You know that you can survive. You know that you can learn. You know that you can get through this. So don't waste this gift you've been given. <laughs> you don't want to hear me say that, but don't waste this gift you've been given because the way that you respond right now will set you up for your future. Hey, I hope this message really helped you out today in this moment. If you're looking for more strategies or inspirational messages, check out this video right here. I think you'd like it a lot and I will see you there.